Aberdeen, Stravete i Dobre Dusli, Binesheto, Malko, Bolgarsko, Putlucheniri. And for those of you who need a translation, which probably includes Bulgarian, probably. As well as English. <laughs> <laughs> that was hello and welcome to our little Bulgarian adventure. <laughs> the reason for doing it in Bulgarian this week is we've decided to do a little review of some of the um, the programs and Bulgarian teaching systems that we found on the internet. Yeah. And that we've used. We'll give you a little review. We'll tell you what we think of them. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to you. But there is no real substitute for actually speaking to a Bulgarian, but it's a starting point. As you probably know, Lynn and I are trying to learn Bulgarian. It seems important to us as we live in the country. At the moment, the only way we have of doing this is through computer programs and online learning. We've put together a brief overview of some of the programs we've used and what we like about them and things that we wish they could possibly improve upon, but hopefully you'll find this useful. We would advise before doing any of these to actually learn the alphabet, the sounds the letters make. There are some common letters you'll know from English. There are some letters which you'll know from English that have a different sound and there'll be some completely new to you. We advise to learn these, that way you'll be able to actually read the words. It's a very phonetic language. The words are spelt how they sound. So you'll be able to say the words, even if you don't know what they mean. First, we have Lokson. Dobar večer. Duvijždani. Duvijždani. Duskoro. Duskoro. It's free on the internet, but I found it to be quite simplistic and not very in-depth. But it is a good starting point for various terms. There are quizzes. Yeah. It does test you on what it's taught you, but you won't learn to speak fluent Bulgarian just with this program. Hello. Благодаря. Thanks. Next we have Mondli. Lynn's been using this one. It's very good for actually hearing the words and learning them. Like all of these programs, it relies heavily on repetition, but that's a way of learning. There are various tests to make sure you've learned the words. We found it's very good for the word pronunciation, but not so good for learning how to spell them. The next program is Memrise. I use this one. It's very good for your vocabulary. It's also good for the grammar and learning the spelling of the words, but there's very little audio, which means you can't actually hear how the words are pronounced. So my interpretation of pronunciation, which is probably incorrect, is the one I learn. It's good if you're competitive because it awards you points for the work you've done and has a weekly, monthly, and all-time leaderboard. Welcome to 3 Minute Bulgarian Season 1, Lesson 15. Where are you going? In this lesson, Finally, we have Bulgarian Pod 101. Here's the informal way to ask, where are you going, in Bulgarian. First is a word meaning, where. This is a very in-depth course, which I'm currently working my way through. It has lots of different tools to aid your learning, from audio lessons, printed out sheets, various cheat sheets as they call them, flashcards. There is an option if you go for Premium Plus to actually have face-to-face -face tuition from a person. Uh, you're assigned a, t a tutor. I haven't done that as yet, but that may be something in the future. So until it's easier for us to get out and actually speak to some Bulgarians, this is what we'll continue to do in our quest to learn the language. So what, what have we done this week? Well, it's been a difficult week. It has. As with all adventures, you have your highs, but you also have some lows. Yes, and we seem not to have been the only ones. No. But we've definitely had a few lows this last week. Yes. Um, one of our cats that we'd been taking in to get neutered, one of them developed quite a bad infection, uh -huh. which we had to take back to the vets. Um, 
it was the ginger and white one. He was not doing well at all. No. He'd had to have a bit of abdom abdominal surgery as well as his castration. Yes. Um, um, and it just got infected. He got infected. His Im immune system um, was compromised. Was compromised, which left him open to infection. Yeah. And um, he got a virus. He got a virus, which then passed on to the rest of the cats. Yeah. We took the ginger and white kitten in last Thursday and last Friday. Uh, we told to bring him in again on Monday, so he could have a check, check and see how he was. Um, over the weekend, the calico kitten started getting a bit lifeless and, and listless. Um, so we thought, as take we her as well. Take her as well. Um, they, they decided they'd keep them both in overnight. Yeah, they did. And the next morning, unfortunately, we had a phone call to say we'd lost the calico cat. Yes. Um, by this time, the two tabbies had also started developing a few symptoms. So, of course, at this they point, got rushed in. we were panicking a little bit, um, but we took those in with us as well. Um, they looked at them and said, OK, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We, apparently, there's no out-and-out -out cure for what they had, but they can treat the symptoms. Um, and the best place for that was at the vets. So we left them there for a couple of days, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Wednesday, we had a phone call to say that they were, they were all stable. Um, did we want to pick them up today or leave them for another night? We decided it was, they were in the best place um, if they needed anything. So we left them there till Thursday. And I guess he went and picked them up. And we went and picked up the ginger and white cat, who's still quite poorly, but is improving. Yeah, he'd had some major surgery done again yes. to remove the infection internally, and they'd had to open the wound up. And also he'd um, got gingivitis, so he was having problems eating. Um, so there's quite a, quite a lot of things that needed to be sorted out there. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're telling us that the recovery could take up to a month. So uh, we're looking after him quite carefully. Um, slightly better news, the two tabby cats seem to be getting back to normal. Yes, um, and Engelbert, Engelbert hasn't shown any signs of any illness and seems to have... Nothing touched it. him, so... <laughs> so yes, that, that's our cat news, which is not good. Um, yeah. We know from some, our Derek Dream and our Good Life Homestead... We've also lost cats this week, so it just seems to have been a week for it. Yes, so... Uh, Our sympathies go out to you guys. Absolutely. We know exactly how it feels. Yeah. And we would recommend as well that any vaccinations you can get for kittens, you get done. Absolutely, yes. Because that's what we were taken aback by, quite how virulent it is here. Yes. It's, uh, you see a lot of stray animals and you kind of assume that they're going to be okay, but you can't take it for granted. So. No, definitely not. No. On better news, the dogs are fit, doing well. Yes. <laughs> Slightly panicking about getting them vaccinated now because yeah. we can't really get them in the car yet. They're not. They're not keen about that. In the car. Um, they <laughs> won't fit in the cat box. So <laughs> <laughs> we, we're sure we're going to get those done in the next couple of weeks, aren't we? Yes, and uh, hopefully that'll be a whole raft of healthy animals. Yeah. <laughs> so that did throw our whole week in terms of any plans we had. Most of it was spent running in and out to talk yeah. fishy to the pets. Absolutely. Um, and sitting here worrying about them when. We weren't there. <laughs> yeah. So when the weather permitted, we did some work in the woodland, some tidying up, a yeah. few more trees down, that sort of thing. Um, but slowly thinning out some of our coppices. Yes, we're uh, we're trying to get it manageable before the real growth period starts, and uh, then it's basically down to maintenance and strimming. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, about hopefully about to start. The weather turned cold again this week, didn't it? Yes, we've had. It's still. Yet below freezing overnight yeah. um, it's not the best weather but so. we had a couple of good days Tuesday when Tuesday Wednesday yeah and then it got really cold again it's the wind it's the north wind that we're getting yes making it the cold. wind chill factor is frightening <laughs> <laughs> if they tell you it's three degrees you go outside it feels like minus five it's yeah nice. it's quite quite shocking yes, so. we have sunshine today yes it's the sun is shining um, the birds are singing so we're hoping to get a bit more done outside today. Fingers crossed. Yes, so that's probably about it for this week. It's been not a great deal has happened apart from us <laughs> going in and out of Tiger Vishni to the vets. Yeah, and looking after cats. Yeah. But um, as they're on the mend and the weather improves, hopefully we'll be able to get on. Yeah. I think we said that last week. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might say that next week. We may well do, yeah. Hopefully we'll not. see. <laughs> but in the meantime, 
Doskoro. Doskoro. Stay safe. Stay well. And we'll see you then. See you next week. Bye. Bye bye.